So now in this video we're going to be taking some voltage readings using a multimeter of this transistor demonstration circuit I've been using in recent videos. So in this video we're going to focus on the voltages across the transistor. So now there's two separate currents flowing through the transistor and that means there's two voltages. So we have the voltage across the base and the emitter and then the voltage across the collector and the emitter. So we're going to start off taking a voltage reading of the voltage across the collector and the emitter. So I have a 9 volt battery plugged into the rail now. The uh, black probe of the multimeter goes to the emitter of the transistor, NPN transistor, flat side to the right. And that means the collector's on top. So, now I got a connection there. As I said, this is a 9 volt battery, but you can see it says uh, 7.3 volts across there. Now that's with the transistor off. The LED's not lit, so there's really no current flowing through. There's actually a little bit of current flowing through the multimeter that's how it knows the voltage there's a high value resistor in the multimeter and uh, it just lets a little bit of current flow through just to see how much current flows through so it knows the voltage now if I come to the other side of the LED you see it says uh, 8.78 volts so the reason why the voltage is lower to the transistor is because we have an LED in this circuit it's a semiconductor so the voltage drop of the LED is dropping about a volt and a half out of the circuit. If we measure the other side of the resistor here, you see that it's the same voltage no matter which side of the resistor. So this is what the, the battery voltage is. It's an older battery. So it's about 8.8 uh, .8 volts. So now we'll zoom in and turn the meter to measure voltage. This is an auto ranging meter. And so all I have to do is put it to voltage, it does the rest. And so I added a jumper wire here to the emitter of the transistor, which I clipped to the uh, black probe of the multimeter. And then the red probe, that's connected to the, to the rail, the short little rail that's connected to the collector of the transistor. So we're taking the same reading that I showed you without these clips. You'll see it's 7.33. So this is the voltage making it to the transistor after the LED drops a little. And so now I'm gonna turn the transistor on. Right now it's off, it's at the cutoff. We're gonna move it to the active region. Now you'll see the voltage is dropping across the collector to the emitter. And uh, right at about the point where the voltage started dropping, the, the LED here turned on. And the voltage is dropping down. I'm going to keep turning it up to about a saturation point. And now you see that we practically eliminated the voltage across the collector to the emitter. And that's because the current is flowing uh, practically freely through the transistor from collector to emitter so the none of the current hardly any of the current is running through the meter so the meter doesn't detect any voltage so the, the uh, transistor acts kinda like a variable resistor depending on how much current makes it to the base when it's almost uh, perfect insulator then there's a high voltage across it remember there's the LED drop but otherwise this is the battery voltage whereas when you turn it up the current uh, runs f uh, right through it so it acts like almost a perfect conductor so to demonstrate that a little bit more again we'll measure the voltage and I'm gonna turn this uh, trim pot voltage all the way up to 9 volts and now remember the current of uh, both of these pads ends up down here and heads to ground so 
I'm going to take a voltage reading of uh, this little jumper wire which is practically a perfect conductor for uh, as far as we're concerned and you see there's no voltage reading and if you remember with the transistor well it was on the voltage dropped to practically zero there was a slight reading but uh, definitely more than what we're getting here so it was almost as good of a conductor as this jumper wire in uh, this state right now well it's uh, saturated so now we're going to look at the base emitter voltage and so I have the jumper again connected to the emitter the black uh, to the black probe and then the red probe I have a jumper connected to the base the middle pin of the transistor so now we'll turn the uh, multimeter on and now you see we actually got a, a slight negative voltage and uh, it's a little interesting but uh, zero volts should be expected so now I'm going to slowly turn the trim pot up and of course as the trim pot goes up voltage goes up but again in this circuit I have an LED between the trim pot and the base of the transistor so in our case that LED is going to block about a volt and a half so looks like we're about in that range now you see the other LED is slowly turning on but it really turns on about this point so what this is telling us is that uh, this transistor has from base to emitter a voltage drop of about uh, 0.6 volts somewhere in that range and as I turn this up you'll see it kind of holds in that area it's uh, stopping about that uh, 0.7 volts so it looks like the higher the uh, the voltage the more of a voltage drop from uh, the base to the emitter because remember this is a NPN type resistor so the base is P type the emitter is N type so that's uh, practically a diode so there's a voltage drop just like with the diode and uh, looks like the voltage drop is close to about uh, 8.5 volts there when we turn the trim pot all the way up and that's probably given us again about uh, looks like we're getting 6 volts at the LED if we uh, go to the other side of the LED the trim pot is giving us about 8.32 volts so again we have voltage drops again but the main point of this was to show that with the multimeter we can get an idea of the voltage drop at the base from the base to the emitter and we have to break that voltage drop which uh, with the low current looks like it was about uh, 6 0.6 volts before it would even uh, turn the transistor on right now it's still in the cutoff region because we haven't passed the forward voltage from the base to the emitter and the reason why the meter is picking up this voltage drop is because it's blocking a little bit of voltage and uh, and thus some current so that current can make it through the meter and we can get a reading 